You thought that the East was the only part of Newman. So did I. I didn't think there was more to the town. I thought the town's name was just East Newman. But what do you know? That East Newman is only one third of the town. The other third being the rest of Newman. And then there's this hidden little gem that, that few of us ever speak about called the Light Industrial Area. <laughs> See, the area is an interesting place. Um, it's basically the Perth CBD in that it has a lot of tall buildings in it, including what I think is the tallest building in town, which does cranes. I don't know why Newman has cranes that are taller than its buildings, but it, life's a funny mystery, isn't it? The LIA is a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place because the roads of the LIA are apparently wide enough that they remind you of the roads used by Kalgoorlie to um, get water deliveries by camels, and because camels have to turn so much, they just have the roads extra wide. I don't know why they designed Newman like that, given it was a town established in the 70s and it had its own water source, but I'm pretty sure it was made for camel transports, even though they didn't exist when the town was built. What's also interesting about the roads is they're completely unmarked, as a friend told me. It's extremely dangerous to actually drive around there because you don't know which way is your lane because there's no lines indicating so. Everyone there seems to really enjoy um, doing Mad Max Who speeding in there in spite of everyone also being truck drivers there. So you just have these massive Hoon and trucks like friggin' Mad Max Delivery Edition. Like, Mad Mac and Amazon Road, when deliveries have to be done in 24 hours, they will get you there, dead or alive. There's also no signs, so I'm surprised more accidents don't happen there, given it is a heavy industrial area where there's seemingly no speed limit. The LA is just, it's a hidden gem. It is those massive gems you find in the underground of Pokemon Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. It's just fantastic. You think that East Newman is a maze? Well, you gotta contend with the LIA, because you never know where you're going. Some roads end in cul-de-sacs, and some are just like, literally just end in, in going into the bush, into the forever desert scrublands and sand wastes of the Pilbara. It's like, you got one road that goes to Pilbara Toyota, right? And then you got another road that just ends in a cul-de-sac. And then you got the third road, uh, that just goes into the abyss. Nothing there but the Gibson Desert and Lake Disappointment. One thing I do like about Newman's LIA is that the fact that it's called Light Industrial Area just it just reminds me of those light industrial tiles on SimCity DS, which I was terrible at playing. Ended up just copying the default city's design and going with that. So one thing I like about it reminds me of SimCity DS, the light industrial. Second of all, has a lot of commercial buildings in it, in spite of it being an industrial area. You got chiropractors, vet, other things I've never done or been to before, but I know exist. You also got a food place, which I'm pretty sure is well known in town for having really good gravy rolls and just good food in general. I've only tried it once to get the gravy roll. It was alright. I, I, I can't complain, I liked it. See, we just have to appreciate those little gems in life. The, the light industrial area may look different to Newman, but it, it's still got that, that wonderful shine of, um, why. I just love that about Newman, you know? It's, it's, it's worth appreciating, okay, Newman? You just gotta appreciate the uh, unusual aesthetics of this very modern, but also Neolithic town. Hey, quick, before I go, one thing I noticed in the last two videos is no one liked and subscribed. So don't forget to like the video and more importantly, don't forget to actually subscribe so, you know, I know that people want to watch more. Yeah.